And we have furry friends here on the BT couch. Also came from the Surrey Animal Resource Center. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, as soon as you introduce me to Oakley, so polite, comes over, walks, sits in my lap. You know what, that's Oakley. Is this going to be hard to part ways with this guy? All smiles? What, what's Oakley's story? That is, Oakley is a nine-year-old Boston Terrier, yeah. um, and Oakley did actually have permanent identification in the form of a microchip, and unfortunately, the ID was not kept up to date, so when we tried to find the people that were attached to the microchip, we couldn't. Um, so unfortunately for them, but fortunately for some awesome person, Oakley's just a fantastic companion. He's uh, good with other dogs, he's good with cats, he's good with kids. His only real high-maintenance demand is um, he likes to sleep under the covers. Oh. Um, um, and he, he likes does that turn down service. He absolutely does. No mints on his pillow, but low fat dog food. Oh, oh, oh look at this. Yeah. Uh, for dogs that are a little older, what are some important tips to keep in mind if we're adopting? Really, really important to um, recognize that they are going to require uh, you know, annual reg regular veterinary care. So making sure that you're attentive to their needs. Um, like older people, sometimes their health care needs can change quickly. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that if you see anything different in their behavior, um, in how they're eating, drinking, all of those kind of functions, that you get them into a vet for a look at. Um, Dogs like Oakley Boston Terriers have that very, very short snout. Um, so one of the things to think about for uh, dogs like him is in hot weather, which we haven't seen yet, but I hear is coming up. Um, you want to make sure that they have access to lots of water when they're out um, and that they're not overexerting themselves because breathing can be difficult for um, the snub-faced dogs like that. Good tips all around. All right, yeah. who's the spicy one? This right? is Kirby, who has none of those things. Uh, Kirby is a two-year-old terrier mix. I mean, just a wee little guy, just a little, little peanut. Um, he came into the shelter as a stray with no identification, um, so no tattoo, no microchip. Likes his belly rubs. Likes his belly rubs. He is a busy little guy. Um, one of the things that Kirby needs a little help with is learning uh, where a good place to potty is. So we don't know whether he was maybe raised in a pet store or someplace where he didn't have an opportunity to learn about house training. So anyone interested in this little guy um, will need to do a little bit of work showing him, you know, pottying outside is good. Pottying inside the house, not such a good idea, but they're going to be rewarded with, I mean, this, right? Wow. This, this face, this little guy yeah all smiles too all right, so we've got two doggies that, mm -hmm. could, that could be entering your family and, and a rabbit in the mix today, too. We do. We brought our Super Rabbit Thor. Super Rabbit Thor? Super Rabbit Thor. Wow. Thor Dagakow, he's not, he's not in the studio right now, but he'll love this. Do we have to do a switch up then? Oh, okay. So we're going to bring on Thor here. So, so uh, is this one? Kirby, are you going to go? Kirby's going to go, go, right? Kirby's going to go. Are we ready for a Thor? So Kirby. So Deb Wally, our resident oh, animal lover and producer awesome. here at BT, will take Kirby. Oh, 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 and he says, hello, Deb. Hello, hello Deb. Oh. Hello. And, and Thor the bunny rabbit. Sure. So Thor, oh, come here, buddy. Thor, oh my goodness. So Thor has been with us at the Animal Resource Center um, for several months now. And Thor, the little guy, has been on a bunch of speed dates with other bunnies. Um, so he is neutered. So yeah. the speed dates are uh, not for making more little bunnies, but to see if he can't find himself a companion to spend the rest of his time with. Rabbits are very social um, and do enjoy the company of other rabbits. But something about um, maybe Thor is a little plain looking. He's not flashy. He doesn't have any of the fancy hair that some rabbits have. He's um, an American. That's the breed. So he hasn't found his perfect match yet, so we thought maybe by coming on breakfast television, he'd have an opportunity to maybe speed date again. Thor, you want to meet Thor? You got, you Thor got your match right here. Check it out. Thor. Could it be? Oh, oh, Oakley's like, I'm um, hello, hello. Oakley's gonna get jealous of this right here. There might I, be room at the Dicow household for. You know what? Thor. And the thing about the thing about Thors, multiple or otherwise, is they don't need to go outside in the pouring rain to potty or to get their exercise. So I know for um, fellow dog owners and lovers, yeah. been a really challenging season and all this rain and um, muck and mud coming in out of the house. If you've got a bunny for a pet, potty train them in the house so they get litter box trained. Um, all of that interaction happens safely inside. So yeah. it's a good alternative. If you're you're not really into the whole wet outdoor living, I'd encourage you to consider a rabbit. That's a great opportunity. Hey, is Thor still here? I want to see Thor hold Thor and see if this is truly a match made in heaven. Kim, this is great information. Surrey Animal Resource Center is the place to go if you think one of these three could be entered into your family. So sweet. Oakley did such a good job. Yeah, he's a good boy. All right, good. Thor will meet Thor once again during the break. We'll let you know how that goes right after. With Watch This, by the way, stay tuned for more. Thanks, Kim. I like the gray coat that you saw in purple, but too is good. Take